calling and driving by for the last week, and she won't return any of my calls. And you know, and then she did open the door just a crack, just to tell me that she couldn't let me in because the baby was asleep. She's Something's got to be up. I don't even know about this. I haven't even called to check on her. I'm such a bad friend. You look what? pale. Yeah, I don't feel good. You don't look I am good. so tired. I am so distracted by this case. Let's change the subject. Please tell me how you are, sweetie. What's what's happening with you? Here? I'm okay. <laughs> without feeling pain, but, you know, I'm just hoping that'll go away one day. He adores you. Does he? Yes, he does. I think so. I know so. Then, then what compels someone to, to betray the very person that they're supposed to love and honor? Well, I mean, I, I would never do I don't know that. Why. How would I know that? I don't know. What, what? I mean, maybe he's just, just because he made a huge mistake, enormous, un- forgivable mistake, that doesn't mean that he doesn't love you more than anything in the world, and that, you know, everyone deserves a second chance, right? And I really hope this doesn't have anything to do with that date you had with Luther. What are you talking about? I'm just saying. What are we talking about right now? What? I'm sorry, can't I just give you my opinion without being questioned about something? This is what I'm going to get from one of my best friends when I tell you that I don't feel good and I'm tired and I'm overwhelmed. Okay, what does Luther yeah. have to do with anything that we're I'm talking about? My best about? friend is defending the man who cheated on me. No, I mean, no, that's not I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not defending him. This has nothing to do with you. I, I'm just, I'm a little emotional right now. Yeah, me too. in these. Children will do that, too. See, you know all that stuff about kids. I don't. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm the worst person to be a mother. No. Why did I do this? Don't say that. You're going to be an incredible mother. And you've got us. Every step of the way, you know that. OK? was so dark and rainy it was hard to tell but you knew I wanted a little blonde girl I wanted a baby girl that looked like me sweetie not mom I know <laughs> it's us right we, we know your hair comes from a bottle of bleach blonde number 207 it's not genetic okay wait wait what, what's happening here this little girl's beautiful I mean she just needs to be loved she's never what? Mind. it's just she's gonna sound me. wrong well, everything we say sounds wrong what she just what? looks so ethnic Oh, what? Honey. honey, we're all ethnic. Yes, I know, but we've had to struggle as a result. Before I dyed my hair, I was treated so differently. And I want to be treated as an equal. That's why I go by Vivian at work, because I'm finally treated as an equal, and I am not going to give that up. Do you know what a client of mine said to me at work mm -hmm. when I told him I was Cuban? Sure. He's like, oh, I knew a Cuban woman once. She used to clean my parents' house. Do you know how that oh, made me honey, feel? Who cares about that? Of course we know how that makes you feel. Sweet, that's, that's ignorance. I mean, we, we don't buy into that. We fight that, remember? In our actions, in our accomplishments, we prove that being Latina is as good as anyone else. Honey, how different does it make you from that ignorant jerk when you refuse to love this beautiful little girl because of the color of her skin? Come on, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You sure you wouldn't prefer a glass of wine, Margarita? No, my stomach feels a little queasy. Tea's perfect. 